Hi guys, so we have a uh, that guy thread, you know the deal. We have that guy players, that guy DMs, so like, comment and subscribe. Wash your hands, wash your butt, see you at the end of the video. Anyone have any good that guy stories right now? I can't tell if I'm being that guy or not in one of my groups. New DM decides he wants to make a game in Pathfinder. Typical Viva La Revolution plotline. DM asks me if I can make a character specifically to counter another player due to him being a Minimax faggot. Oh god, you know this is gonna be fucking trash. <laughs> Tell him, sure, why not? Because we are friends. First session, nothing bad happens, have fun. Second session, player takes 30 minutes to explain his downtime actions. What the fuck? Uh, I don't give a fuck what you're doing in your downtime. Wink. In, so, wink by yourself. Uh, so bad, I fucking <laughs> with you. I make a joke. Can we get a Spark Notes version of this by chance? Laughs around the table. Two sessions in, DM pulls me into Discord with two other players, one of which I was asked to counter, and ask what's the purpose of my character. Tell him general gist, personality and backstory, without telling him that I'm going to counter Minmaxer. Proceeds to tell me that I'm ignoring his plot, ignoring downtime actions, and I'm insulting players. By the second session, Tells me to rework my character to fit the party better and to outline the way I'm going to make him fit. I end up writing, essentially, a four page paper to the DM. I am that guy for making a joke? Or does the DM have a stick in his ass? I don't know, honestly, that whole group seems fucking. Seems fucking... First of all, you don't want the DM to say right off the bat, like, right, you're gonna come in and you're gonna deal with this fellow. First of all, you wouldn't even want him to be in your game. Yeah. So, uh, if you don't like him for be like, being the really into his men, Max, and you wouldn't have him. Yeah, exactly. So, why would you need someone to then, therefore, come in and counter? I'm like, you know, like, I'm all for people with downtime. I enjoy downtime. I really like it. But sort that out on the Discord. When it comes to live sessions, you jump in, get yeah. the new film. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's not even really bad enough to be interesting, but DM Pitch is a mostly casual 5th edition game with a fairly serious tone. Been looking for a new game? Sure, why not? Party consists of mute human cleric, elf wizard whose trading caravans was almost wiped out by bandits, has a taste of exotic and strange foods. My Kenku ranger, sole survivor of a brigand raid on his former village, friends with elf, furbolg druid who's too socially retarded to understand the basic concept of property, or even consistently speak in full sentences because he was raised by fire elementals. I'm sure you can see where this is going. There were two separate occasions in a single day where the Furbolg attempted to impersonate the elf with a disguise spell and proceed to act retarded for no apparent reason. Tries to set a kitchen on fire. Player uses his character's retardation as an excuse to cheat and be generally underhanded because he doesn't know better. Breaks shit all the time. Acts like a toddler generally. Everyone else is at least trying to take the premise seriously. There's not much that's actually happened in the game, but every time he talks, I want to reach through his microphone and smack him. The elf player has already dropped, and I'm strongly considering following him out the door if things don't shape up after this next session. If it ever happens. Game's been on hiatus for three weeks now. Well, I suppose that's because of the crew, <coughs> Well, yeah. But, uh, yeah. No, they're doing it over Discord. Oh, yeah, they are, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, that just sounds like... You know the weird thing is, I always think people that play certain leases... Are kind of stereotypical all the time. And you don't really get that much with four bowls, to be honest with you. Normally they're not like the. Yeah, but whenever they're putting, oh, my character's like not the smartest in the book, it's like, but whenever you're using that as a complete. If, whenever whenever you're using that as a reason just to fuck everything up or just to be a dick generally in game, it's like, mm, no, yeah. someone has to calm that shit down a yeah, wee bit. Yeah, that's very true. That's very This literally happened less than an hour ago. That guy rolls a halfling druid. Literally retarded, will you be my friend to everything hostile? <laughs> yeah, that's halflings for you. Like, we, we just had drinks like, hello, sir. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Something happens to like, film no, other than that. But I love that mimic, that image of just as we fell with his hand like scratching. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Can I be friends now? <laughs> this results in him pulling huge player killing swarms of goblins, orcs, bugbears, etc. down on us. Each time it happens, we barely manage to survive. We keep going back to an inn where the retard runs up a huge fucking tab and I'm literally the only player, period, that can afford to pay it off. <laughs> well, like half-goods and bars. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. 
He's managed to befriend another, that guy, who is a minimaxing murder hobo. If you get on the minimaxer's good side, or bribe him enough, you can literally point out any NPC and say, kill him, and the minimaxer murder hobo will just fucking do it. Fuck the consequences. On our way to another town, because the first town is now a ghost town, populated by an innkeeper and, like, one fucking farm girl. <laughs> I wonder how that happens. <laughs> Retard that guy pulls swarm after swarm of goblins down on us. Will you be my friend? <laughs> I love the idea of that. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. I really have a hard time keeping the, this happening just because I look like, like Can I be friends with these? You know, I just feel like, like that idea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everyone except Retard and Minimaxer is down to like 1 to 2 HP. I just know the faggot fucking retarded ass toggle is going to run up another tab. So I start looting bodies. Cleric asks me why I'm looting bodies because A, I'm a noble, and B, I'm actually a lawful good Asimar paladin. Don't you feel uncomfortable about desecrating the dead? Explain to him that that retard literally drained all the finances by constantly running up an enormous fucking tab all the fucking time. Wherever we were. Retard spurgs the fuck out and attacks. I use a healing potion. Minimaxer shows up. Hey guys, what's going on in this thread? He said I kept running up a tab and not paying, I want him dead. Murder hobo attacks. Cleric tries to take my side, I die. Bard doesn't want to get on Minimaxer's bad side, so he does nothing. Cleric dies. Dwarf warrior dies because he was all, what the fuck are you guys doing? So, our party of six is now a party of three. A bard, a Minimaxing murder hobo, a retard halfling druid, and a DM, who is sort of new at this, sat back and let it all happen. You know, I really did like the halfling. I find it a hard time to keep it. The murder but, hobo. Uh, but at the same time, Heart. look, you know, the way he went about it. And first of all, what you do is you just simply turn around and be like, well, I'm not paying you that. Yeah, you fuck you. Like, <laughs> start it off. First I'm all, not going to pay it. I'm, I'm you deal with it. You deal with the innkeeper. I'm not fucking doing yeah, it. Ah, see about me. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not fucking paying you off. You know what I mean? That would avoid it an awful lot. But yeah. you know, sometimes it's like, bang, whatever. We'll go with it. <laughs> but you know, you know how it is sometimes. I'll share an old one of mine, of my first and only time playing Only War, probably my last ever time as well because the experience soured the whole concept to me entirely. Really fucking bad. Yeah. Guy I know is running an Only War campaign with about six or so people. I'm told the basic premise of them being at this point, a fairly hardened group of guardsmen that have survived roughly half a year of real time games, which is supposedly an achievement for how high lethality the game is meant to be. I asked a few details. Figured out the most useful thing I can do is roll up a guy that's competent as a technician and tank driver. Oh, that's a good choice, yeah. I like that. Krieger, because I like the idea of being an emotionally distant wheelman that creeps out others. But in the long term, intend to be overly helpful in times of need. First game I join, I'm told by the DM that I have to wait a little bit to join in since the last game had them at the tail end of a battlefield deployment. And there's no reasonable way to get me in straight away. That's fine. I don't expect to congeal off the walls of the nearest bombed out bunker. Two hours later, I finally get introduced. Get 10 seconds of intro before I have a heavy bag of belongings shoved in my hands and get told to take up residence in their Lehman Russ. So he's like the golf caddy? Yeah, essentially that's what it looks like he's been turned on <laughs> The tank in question was a master crafted relic from the long lost glory days. Utterly irreplaceable and worth more than everything else combined held by the party. Myself and a handful of others climbed into the Lehman. The others head off ahead of us in two sentinels as advanced scouts. We're deployed to a nearby hive city to figure out why they've gone radio silent after a brief alert of unspecified trouble. We get in sight range of the hive city and I get word that there's figures ahead. I look out through the Lehman's monoculars to see a bunch of people shambling slowly away from the hive city. Also, they're sprouting like human cordyceps, but less fungus and more chitinous. They're some sort of tyranid zombie thing. This is not gonna end well. No. That's guaranteed just not gonna end well. DM asks me to roll versus horror slash shock. I flub the roll miserably, as my actual first gameplay action in this campaign. Well, you know, the thing is, like, he's playing a Kriegsman, and if anyone knows the lore, or actually the tabletop, I'm pretty sure Kriegsman are furious. 
Fearless? So, yeah, I think they've got the Fearless. I don't know, I haven't played 3K in a wee while, so correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but Guardsmen are not I'm just imagining, uh, actually, actually, you were wrong! Kriegsmen! <laughs> so I'm going to say if he's a Kriegsman, he should have a really nice bonus to that, I'm just saying. <laughs> but on with the story. He does consult some tables and tells me I've gone temporarily, gibberingly, batshit insane. So my Krieger starts flailing at the controls, bashing at his helmet with closed fists while screaming about, They're under the skin! They're crawling out! Oh, Emperor, they're under the skin! <laughs> the others in the Lehman try to subdue me with general physical force while also trying not to kill me. This takes too long, so one of the players says, Fuck this! and decides to forgo the non-lethal to just gib me with his power sword that he looted earlier in the campaign in dubious circumstances and was allowed to keep. <laughs> uh, that sounds a bit sketchy. Uh, uh, okay, okay. He rolls to hit me, cleaves me in twain like I'm made of paper tissue. Absolutely no way I survive. Dead within the first 10 minutes of having my character introduced. Well, the good thing is, with him being a Kriegsman, at least he can just play the exact same character again, <laughs> and it doesn't fucking matter at all. He's just Kriegsman number one, two, three, three four, four, five. You know what I mean? You know, it just changes the serial number, job done, doesn't matter. <laughs> DM shrugs and tells me he'll have to get me to re-roll a new character later. Something nags at the back of my mind, and I ask the other players about how power weapons work in 40k. After confirming that they're devastatingly deadly and tend to cause explosions, I asked the DM to reread my character sheet's inventory. He's carrying all manner of grenades and explosives since I intend to help in actual combat outside of the Lehman Ross with a bombardier slash support demolitionist style. Crack grenades, regular grenades, and even a single melter bomb. Mate, that fucking tank's gone. <laughs> all right. DM does some rolling. One of the grenades goes off from the blow that killed me, rolls again, and it starts a chain reaction. After a ridiculous amount of rolls later, he confirms that every bit of ordnance on me had exploded inside the interior of the Lehman Russ. The melt -the bomb alone was enough to do the trick. The rest is just icing on the cake. The Lehman Russ is basically scrap. Everyone inside is horribly dead. The DM decides to call the game there for the night, since everyone except two players in the nearby Sentinels needed to reroll. Yeah, it sounds about like this yeah. for you. DM contacts me later. Asks me how I liked it and what I was thinking of playing for the next game. I just tell him that I'm not comfortable playing in a game where my character was indirectly responsible for thrashing nearly the entire campaign roster of characters, especially since they were so long lived. Buy out of the campaign, haunted forever by the experience. Too long, didn't read summary. Played only war, got to sit in about 2-3 hours of the first game without being able to have any input. Then my first roll flubs and ends up killing me and almost every other player character in a gigantic explosion. God awful experience from my perspective. Well, at least he got to go out in a place of grave, even though he had no connection to that character at all in the slightest. Yeah. And yeah, that was just, it does sound like pretty shit overall. You can't like, there's no little word. Yeah. So I must say, I enjoyed that. We haven't done anything 40k related in fucking ages. because I can't fucking read all the words. No, Megan can't read any of the words in 40k at all. <laughs> like, you know, that's also what's been putting me off doing the, uh, you know, the West March campaign. A lot of the words in that are like Latin and shit. And it's like, oh my God, do we really have to use the most complicated word system ever? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just I'm like... I'm practically illiterate at this point. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but no, I hope you guys... I got this. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed them wee stories I quite enjoyed them there was some that were fun some were bullshit you know like we all got into these issues from time to time and like you know you may as well level in them and enjoy it you know so like I hope you guys enjoyed remember like comment subscribe stay hit the notification safe. bell stay safe the wash love of God hands, wash your dick wash your balls yeah all that type of stuff you know how it is and we'll see you in the next video bye All right.